OK, so let's say uh, the data that you've got on your graph now looks like it fits a function of the form y equals kb to the x. So we're now thinking of something that looks like uh, an exponential graph here. Now, be careful on the fact that, remember, x and y here are the variables. OK, they're the ones that are changing. And the k and the b are constants. OK, so they're just numbers that we're really wanting to find. Now, we are going to reduce this to a linear form. And once again, we use logarithms because we've got that power there. So because we've got that, we'll take log base 10 of both sides. OK. Now, this logarithm can be broken apart. So we'll have log base 10 of k plus log base 10 of b to the x. Now, that x can come down to the front. like so. Now, if I reorder this, OK, so I'm going to reorder. I'm going to bring that, I'm going to kind of swap these round, and I'm going to make it very clear that log 10b here is the coefficient of x. It's just we write it like that, because it looks a little bit neater. If you write this without the brackets, then it looks like it's log 10 of bx, which is different. And then we've got log 10k. So we've now got it of a form where you can say, well, if x and y are variables, then here's the variable x. This must also be a variable, log 10y. So we could say, let capital, bar, capital Y be log 10 of y. And let capital X be log, well, not log 10x, sorry, just little x. OK. So that's just a, sw a straight swap there. Now, the log 10b being the coefficient of x, you could call that m. Seeing as log 10b it will be a constant, m is a constant. C, another constant, can represent your log 10k. So here you've got y equals mx plus c. So this represents another straight line. OK? So then... What you can then do is once you've plotted your data, OK, x against log 10y, if it is appearing in relatively like a straight line, you can do a line of best fit and then estimate the uh, y-intercept and to the gradient of the line, and then work your way backwards, OK? Because then you can work out b and k and substitute them back into the equation of the original curve.